Hello guys, today I want to show you something new I got, not only this beautiful table, but some nice solitaire games. And the first one will be Rifles in the Peninsula by Tiny Battle Publishing, designed by Gotardo Zancani. This is the third game in the Rifles series, I believe, or it's Theatres of War. Uh, is the actual name of the series, I believe. Um, we had uh, Rifles in the Arden and Rifles in the Pacific and now Rifles in the Peninsula. So after two World War II games this is Napoleonics. And uh, I actually uh, served as a playtester on this one. Um, it is my first Rifles game, so haven't played Arden and Pacific. Interestingly, no, no uh, publisher logo on the cover here, and some table of contents, game overview units. So there is not much new to uh, the state of the game when I play tested it, but a few new uh, mission types and uh, the duel which I haven't played before, so looking forward to that. And yeah, don't want to scroll through the whole rule book and show you every page, but what, what might be interesting for you is the campaign sheet. So possible campaign starting 1805 to 1815. So the classic Napoleonic era, uh, not the Revolutionary War era. So the first wars, first and second uh, coalition, um, which I regret. So what we would be great if if there was a campaign starting in 1792, some campaign events and campaign logs. So if you play the campaign, not only single missions, you can uh, take notes here what you have achieved so far. And finally the unit roster, I believe all of those can be downloaded on the web page of Tiny Battle Publishing. And there should also be a, a mission generator for uh, random missions <coughs> um, on the page of uh, Gotardo, I believe. I don't have the link in my head right now, but I will be looking it up. and. Hopefully put it in the video description. If not, please remind me in the comments below. Yeah. So if you... <laughs> I should have, should have said that before, but if you don't know the Rifled series, this is an abstracted tactical a game uh, on uh, units and groups of units. We have here the mission booklet. Well, it is pretty in color. Uh, talking about the the rule book here, I mean the counters and so are in color as well, and there is some blue highlighting in the rules. But layout wise, <coughs> this is like done with a with Microsoft Word by the looks of things. Um, I think it would would have could have been improved. Quite a bit if uh, someone sat down with InDesign or so on, did a nice layout of this one. Uh, well, the missions, and this is the the map, so to say. You always start with your units below row number six. Enemies most likely start at row number one, and you have some objectives. There will be. Uh, random event markers in every row. As soon as you enter the row, you resolve a possible random event. There can be uh, terrain features on a stripe, so to say, on a row. Like there is a stone wall and your soldiers can get behind the wall to take some cover or there is a house with some enemies in them. And this game, as I said, is solitaire. The, um, the enemies have a uh, special activation uh, routes uh, based on or depending on the mission. 
so what they want to achieve and you'll need to to make use of your officer to try and and, and activate soldiers all together on the back here we have the dual sheet which i don't know much about yet this is uh, part of the campaign game if you play a campaign and you decide to play with the dual variant then this is uh, pretty much inspired by the duelist the great and awesome film and uh, so after each mission i believe uh, in a campaign if i remember correctly you're gonna roll and see if your nemesis is there and ch challenges you to a duel and then you will fight uh, until one of you is dead or uh, the seconds um, uh, ask to to seize the duel. Pretty cool idea, I believe. So then we have the <clears throat> the army sheets here, <clears throat> and um, these are really relevant to know the specific um, values of of some of the units. Uh, and if you are playing as one of the nations, so there's Prussia, Austro Russia, Britain and obviously France. You have a build point limit for which you can select several units and um, it also depends on which rank you have in the campaign uh, so you cannot go ahead and, and recruit like five cuirassiers straight ahead or so. Um, yeah, patrol table and so on and so on. So these are <coughs> Again, uh, telling you in specific missions which type and which number of uh, enemy units will be placed. And we have an explanation here, which is pretty cool. Looks great. And the counters. These are three half size, no, four half size counter sheets with huge counters. Not sure if this one inch, probably. They seem to punch out quite nice yeah relatively nice great and we have some british line grenadiers light infantry dragoons french line infantry dragoons cuirassiers uh some russian austro russian line on the back possibly different units yes hussars french hussars the officer grenadiers voltigeurs some uh, British Highlanders and Chosen Men here, Hazars, uh, Russian Grenadiers, some Austrian Jaegers. And continuing here with even more units, some NPCs. Uh, in some of the missions there are NPCs with special roads. And trees, like to, as I said, terrain features, so to say, here even more woods, fields, buildings. These are the random event markers, some veteran markers there, a hill, game turn, shaken markers, unloaded. So if you if your units shoot, they unload their muskets obviously or pistols or whatever they are carrying, or carbines, and need to reload and that takes an extra action. Yeah. And a square is a special formation in one of the, the, the missions. Awesome. Awesome. So the only thing you need to provide is a number of dice. And I believe it's six, three or six dice. Quite a lot. Let's take a look because you need to, you need three dice <clears throat> as activation dice. So every turn you're going to roll and see based on the numbers you roll how many activations or special activations you are getting. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? The player will need to provide five six-sided dice. Right, three for activation and two for combat. And an opaque container for randomly drawing counters. Okay, so this is a great game. I enjoyed playtesting it a lot. Looking forward to the new missions. Looking forward to the dual minigame. And I have something in mind. I said that already when unbagging Pits War. I have 
something in mind that also includes rivals in the peninsula and pits war and legion of honor and possibly some other games but we will see if that comes true hope you enjoyed this one see you on the next one goodbye